Now I'm going to do a video to look at the medial collateral ligament that as we know comes down this medial side. I'm doing this video because quite a few of the guys I'm supervising at the moment are really struggling to get this image, um, a nice clear image of the MCL. So the, the key thing to remember is that you may need to have a small towel under the knee or it might be easier to have the knee straight or potentially even at 90 degrees. So you do need to just have a play around with the patient position. Now the first thing you're going to do is just place the probe onto the knee joint. And what you can see here as we slide down is we can see the medial knee joint space here. So this is the tibia. We know it's the tibia because it's a more, bit more like a cliff. And over here, this is the femur, which is a bit more like a hill. Now, a lot of people will show me images like this. So is this you? Do you think that this is the best image we can get of the MCL going over the top? OK, this is not a good image of the MCL at all. Now, the reason for that is I'm too anterior. You've got to remember, particularly when the knee is towards extension, the MCL is more round the back of the knee. OK, so we can start to see this lovely fibula pattern here of the MCL. OK, so let's just recap that when you're doing this, you shouldn't be at this region here. You need to actually bring the probe underneath and you need to almost angle the probe back up. And it's only at that point where you start to see a nice fibula band of tissue. Now, remember, you've got the sup superficial and the deep bands of the MCL. So this is the superficial band here. And this goes over the top and really grabs that femoral condyle. So you can see this is all the superficial band. You can see that lovely fibula pattern and you can follow that superficial band. There it is. And you can follow it over the top of the medial meniscus. So this is the superficial band. This is the medial meniscus. And we can follow that lovely fibula pattern distally. Now remember, when you come distally, you need to fishtail the distal end of the probe anteriorly. Okay. And then you can keep that lovely band of the superficial fibers going all the way down and attaching in here onto the tibia. So you can see this going all the way through here. OK, if we follow that back up, these are the superficial. This is the superficial part here and we can see where it attaches onto the femur. Now, remember, it's this femoral side where you get quite a few of the injuries, the deep fibers are more towards the bone here. So these are the deep fibers. They're not a nice fibula pattern because they the fibers are more oblique and multidirectional. And obviously these fibers then link in to the meniscofemoral and the meniscotibial ligaments. And that forms that deep capsular layer of the MCL. So the key learning point here is don't come to anterior. This is not the MCL. You need to bring the probe round the back and almost pushing into the back of the tibia, probably more posterior than you think, to get that really nice fibula pattern. So if my gel bottle was my femoral condyle, I'm not just placing it on the side, I'm coming round the back and almost pointing up back towards the femoral condyle to get that nice fibula pattern. Did you find that video useful? If you did, don't worry, we've got loads more videos for you. You can like our videos, you can make a comment, you can subscribe to our channel to get all of our new videos and you can even join our membership. Good luck scanning.